This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. National Guard is helping ease the burden on local hospitals and staff as ICU capacity remains low in our region. A group will be helping at Palomar Medical Center in Escondido. The troops are setting up an alternate care site on the 10th and 11th floors of the uh, Palomar Medical Center. Makeshift facility will be able to serve up to 200 less severe patients that don't require ICU care. Vaccinations continuing today among some of our county's most vulnerable residents at St. Paul Senior Services will be getting their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine today. Essential workers, doctors and nurses who help them will also be getting vaccinated. CVS pharmacists will be giving vaccinations to those living and working in long term care facilities across California over the next 12 weeks. City of San Diego is getting a six month extension to negotiate a new deal with SDG&E to keep the company as our local power supplier. The city council will have a special meeting today to approve the extension of the deal, which was set to expire next month. If that happened, it could have cost the city tens of millions of dollars in revenue and possibly led to a court battle over how to keep the electricity on. All right, let's get up to Megan Perry right now. Megan, it's been cold throughout the morning. When are we going to heat up today? Well, it's feeling a little better. You have to go stand out in the sunshine and let it soak in for a little bit. But this afternoon, after the very cold temperatures we had this morning, 30s and 20s for much of the county, we'll be in the 60s. So low to mid 60s at the coast, mid to upper 60s inland and in the deserts, and 40s and 50s in the mountains. And we're going to see fair weather to end 2020 and welcome 2021. Mild to weak Santa Ana conditions will taper off this afternoon. And then we'll see another round of weak winds coming through Thursday night into early Friday morning. And looking ahead to next week. It does look like we could see more rain. Jim. All right, Megan, thank you so much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.